I'm Ben Ross, gameplay producer for NHL 13. I'd like to show you some actual in-game footage to showcase some of the great features in this year's game. The dump in by Dubinsky shows how you can take advantage of the speed of players like Haglin. In this case, it creates a great scoring chance from the dump and chase. You then see Dubinsky take advantage of being able to skate backwards at any time, opening up to his forehand for a better shot on net. Here you'll see the defense get caught in transition as they misread Kessel's explosive speed. He pays for it a bit, but still gets a great scoring chance in the process. You can see the defense respecting Gerby's speed with a large gap when he receives the breakout pass. Gerby then goes into a controlled glide, uses a new explosive 45 move to the inside, and finishes the pretty goal. In the replay, you can see how Gerby's timing was perfect and catches Subban committing too much to the outside. In this next sequence, you will see a few cases of the user taking advantage of being able to backskate at any time. It opens up creativity when skating and allows for more control for both shooting and passing opportunities. Watch as Callahan uses top end speed up the wing, then hammers on the brakes to create separation from the defender. Backus skates the puck in with speed to get a two-on-one chance. He creatively uses the backskate to square up and put a pass across the Oshi behind the defender. Schultz does a great job wheeling behind the net, keeping vision of the whole ice using the creativity of the backskate. It starts a great breakout where Nugent Hopkins sets up Hall. Hall notices the defender is backing up with too much of a gap, goes into a glide, cuts in on his heel edge, and gets a great shot off. From a glide, a player can now cut forward in 45 degree explosive cuts, or cut in to the left or right like Hall does. Here, you'll see great examples of the new creativity opened up by being able to backskate at any time with the puck. Even after a Sabres player is injured on the play, they're able to keep their possession alive, showing how much more effective the power play is this year. On the power play in NHL 13, defenders have to be very aware of not overcommitting. Overall, the Bruins do a good job containing but the one time they overcommit, it results in a great opportunity for the offense. Our new chop feature opens up an array of possibilities. Here you'll see the chop to start a successful breakout. In these next few clips, you'll see some of the outstanding work that has gone into goalies this year. Anticipation from goalies this year allows them to get across and make saves they couldn't in the past. This clip is a great example of goalies recognizing threats on ice away from the puck. Rene makes an amazing save on a cross-crease pass from Reed to Voracek. You can see an example of a defender getting his stick in the lane to break up the pass. Brizgalov then goes on to make a great reactionary pad save and then a follow-up save on the rebound. In this next clip of Rask, you can see him coming out to challenge the shots on the power play. And even though his momentum gets him caught out of position, he still gets his left pad on the rebound to make the save. A turnover results in a two-on-one. Fleury reads the pass and gets his left pad flushed to the ice to make the great save. Even against his momentum, Anderson is able to reach back with the complete limb movement and get a blocker on the shot. San Jose does a great job cycling the puck to get a really nice scoring chance, but Quick anticipates the pass, then makes an unbelievable desperation save with his blocker. In this next play, the offensive rush starts after the user's AI teammate makes a great interception on a pass to the slot. Richards then gets creative with the new skating system before putting a great pass over to Carter. Rene then takes away the whole bottom half of the net and robs Carter of the goal. Lastly, here are a few examples of how the new neutral zone forechecks can be effective. Here, the Lightning use their infamous 1-3-1 to once again frustrate the Flyers, causing them to switch up their attack and try a dump and chase approach. In this clip, the Islanders can't break in against the Devils' strong 1-4 and keep getting stripped of the puck at the blue line. These are great examples of players needing to switch up their offensive strategies based on the defense in front of them. Thanks for watching our first look at gameplay. Stay tuned to the EA Sports channels for more on NHL 13 in the upcoming months.